Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tactical Mind here, my name is Lost, and welcome to another video of Rainbow Six Siege, um, Clubhouse on Bedroom. Uh, again, like what I just said, this site is going to be covering Bedroom, and I'm going to go over each operator and the rules of how to defend this particular site. Um, and without further ado, let's go and jump right into the video. Alright, so right off the bat, we're going to reinforce the bathroom with Maestro. Ten seconds remaining. Those would be his two reinforcements. Actually, I lied. He's gonna be reinforcing one in bathroom. Are secure. I'm a retard. And we're gonna reinforce his outside wall over here. And as for his two camera spots, one is gonna be right above the bed, it's gonna be in this corner. So when you place this camera, you want to make sure you're pretty much lined up on the edge of the pillow. Three almost fall off because that's the only way you're going to get that camera up there. And I'll show you guys what that's going to do for us in a second. You're going to jump up here. Put the kill on the right side of the wall. Back up just a little bit. Come on. We're gonna turn around, take our bailiff, and we're gonna shoot pretty much below this flag. If you destroy the flag, it's not done in the world. But we're doing it just enough to where you can't see that that the attackers can't see the drone. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Maestro's camera from construction, because that's the whole point of this camera, right? <coughs> so I'm using myself an example. And as you can see, I can see the feet of the attacker that's in construction if they ever uh, decide to peek out from uh, the wood panels over there, right? So I don't know who would be standing right here exactly, but if they're swinging out or using this kind of wood panels, again, as cover, um, they cannot see the camera, but the camera can see them. Even when they're exposed kind of behind. See, I take damage. And along with this camera over here, the purpose is I can see into here. So watch. Again, you cannot see that camera whatsoever. If you have an ACOG, you can see the very bottom of it. You know, with this middle bar in the way. You can see the very bottom. Again, you can still zap you if you've seen those cracks. Okay. And I have a good portion to see uh, up in the construction to see if anyone's pushing in this area. So again, I can see if anyone rotates through here, if anyone's just sitting right here holding an angle. Or again, just sitting over here or moving up to uh, find these wood uh, sheets. I switch cams and I can shock. So once more, I have all eyes in bedroom. I have all eyes in gym, which of course are the two main sites you want to focus on. I can see all the way into logistics office in the doorway, and I can see into the outside in gym. We're also gonna be opening up this hatch. So no defenders are exactly going to be playing in this room, but it's, the hatch opening is kind of, uh, it's basically for the attackers to fall in, kind of like a, like a trap door, I guess you can say. <clears throat> yes, it sounds dumb, but that's how it is. Uh, Maestro is going to be in bathroom um, when, when shit hits the fan. So the whole time during that round, Maestro is going to be in the bathroom. And that's pretty much all for Maestro. First things first, plan as castle, we're gonna reinforce off or barricade off <clears throat> logistics office. Five seconds to insertion. Gonna make a rotate through bathroom. Mike's gonna have this reinforced, so Mike's always also secure. going to have this rotate. And we're just gonna be shooting the whole entire bottom out. And I'm happy that the super short has enough shells to do this shit. <clears throat> so it's a little time consuming the prep phase. You can ask for my stroke for his help. Because again, he has a B lift uh, pistol shotgun that can help you make these uh, these kill holes in the floor. <clears throat> You're doing the same thing to the softball and logistics. Yeah. 
And yes, every little piece counts. Gonna barricade this one off. So you don't have to run double shotgun, obviously. I just prefer the shotguns on the FIB agents. Or FBI, sorry, I play a lot of guns with Auto. <laughs> um, the FBI agents in, uh, on defense. And we're gonna castle this off. So even though I said playing as Maestro, you're gonna have a camera that looks into the hallway. That's only if this castle barricade gets destroyed. So it, the camera is still reliable in the sense of you get to see who's in construction and whoever's peeking this window and or tries to hop in it um, and tries to be smart or some shit, right? So it's not completely useless. Uh, so castle reinforcements on the small wall. Again, leading to logistics. Castle barricade logistics. Castle barricade between hallway and, uh, and gym along with blocking out cash room and where castle's mainly gonna be playing at because well my gonna be holding down construction by himself okay castle can be playing hallway so again if you're playing shotgun this is perfect because again within a seven to eight uh, meter range the shotguns are really effective it's probably about a two shot kill for the m10 to get to, to take down an enemy when this wall or if this wall ever gets opened up it's probably that time for castles to retreat back on the site and maybe just help out lockdown B and you know just sit on this rotate okay sit on this rotate you know obviously your footsteps and you know you're playing close quarters with a shotgun so again this is if you're playing with a shotgun and I shouldn't be telling you how to play shotgun it's pretty fucking simple and easy but don't over peek because again they're gonna have the advantage if they're sitting outside you know right fucking there with an ACOG holding this line of sight waiting for you to get greedy for the kill and over peek don't get greedy don't over peek play safe play smart and wait for the opponents to push to you all right um and that's castle setup bombs so well my role is really short sweet and simple okay Ten seconds um remaining. he doesn't have a lot of prep to do and it, it, yeah, it's not time consuming for him okay so once Castle secure. sets this up and preps this for him, his job is to watch the hatch and logistics to give the call out if anyone drops there and obviously, you know, fucking shoot and kill uh, for that. For the shield, reason why we're putting it up against his window is this is going to be castled off and we don't need to put any reinforcements here. Um, this is open. You won't be okay. Playing with why you won't be playing the shield for the window, like what I said, playing the shield for logistics office. So that bar castle barricade is there for your safety, uh, and the shield is here for your safety, and along with your what do you call it? We usually say what the fucking are. Okay, well his fucking flying disc of magnet shit, whatever the hell you want to call it. To be honest, I don't know the fucking name. Um. You can put all of the disc on the left side of the window, not on the right. My friend, uh, he helped me out with this video and um, experimented with the grenade. If anyone toss a nade in here, if it's going to destroy the shield, uh, it will if it's on the right side. So don't put any magnets over here. On the left, one top and one below. So at least you can catch both nades if somebody you decides to do that. Uh, they you won't be able to see any of them. I guess you can move that a bit better, and they won't be able to see this at all from the outside. You have entered an enemy controlled area. <clears throat> Only way you're, you're gonna lose your magnets is if there's a fucking uh, EMP, which that just should be banned, or a Twitch. <coughs> <coughs> can I pick? Yes, I can. So I guess I would move this to this corner. I guess like right above the doorway. Because obviously, if you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. So I have two magnets at least over there. Um, again, if people want to get smart and kind of shoot, shoot through, uh, they do get through this barricade. They have another little mining magnet to protect you. Um, just get creative. So, and obviously you want to think as an attacker too while playing as a mine. See, I want to put it in that corner, but if attackers are here, you can see in that corner. So maybe I can use the bars to my advantage and just sneak it in the middle, possibly right here, and see if the attackers can see through that. And look at that, I don't even know where the fuck it's at. Okay, well, <laughs> never mind, that kind of backfired. Um, so yeah, I guess just experiment exactly where you want these magnets. 
Um, this is kind of what the, the area that I would want them in. So this is personally me, how I would play Womai, even though I'm not a big Womai fan. I don't think most people are. But he's really useful in some situations, and in this situation, he, he holds he's holding down a room by himself. And yes, he does help with, uh, has help with from other operators, but... It's a, it's a pretty tight, uh, pretty tight thing. For reinforcements, so Castle's getting this. Uh, Maisha's getting the one wall and the outside wall. Banner's gonna get the main wall. So in fact, you can reinforce a small, small wall right here. So that's even more protection for OMI. So your only worries is gonna be window and logistics office. And even then, the window is probably going to be your most threat, again, which is why you have a shield. Um, and that's how you play on mine. Secure the bombs. Playing as Bandit, you also do not have a lot of preparation Ten to do. Left. Um, just reinforce wall. Five seconds. Put down your batteries and Bandit trick. Bomb locations are secure. So obviously you would put down both reinforcements on that main wall, but I'm doing this just for the sheer purpose to visually show you what to do with them. <coughs> now some of you guys might have questions, hey, why are you going to put a bandit battery on this outside wall if this whole wall is going to be solved along with the opening on the floor? Uh, I'm not worried about this battery as much because this is only a temporary delay for the attackers, I guess you can say. And besides, we're going to have Womai in this room protecting, uh, again, pretty much this whole room. So unless the attackers immediately drop and just sprint to the fucking left, which shouldn't have happened because there's somebody... Well, that could be a possibility. Um, and they might shoot this battery. As long as Womai does his best, it doesn't matter. Um, if the wall gets opened up, obviously Womai might need to retreat back to site. Uh, but that's just what Bandit's going to do. He's going to put a battery right there. And of course, you can save your other uh, extra battery because you're going to have one here, one on the main wall. Uh, this is annoying. And even better yet, you're going to have this castle right here to help and protect you um, from any gunfire, of course. So claymores or nades might get tossed through here, but I'm going to have a Jaeger ADS over here. And or maybe one my, one my magnet. I'll, you can spare uh, one my magnet over here too. So, ask help from your teammates, um, bandit trick, once you are done bandit tricking, um, whoever, whether it's Thatcher, which again, you should ban, or um, any other hard breacher, you're going to be watching stairs, and you're going to be keeping an eye on logistics office. As long as the barricade is up, the castle barricade is up, you're keeping an eye on logistics. Once that barricade is gone, I will just focus on stairs, and obviously here for, uh, for any movement or uh, enemy activity in uh, the office. Um, but I want to really peek over the most part. You're mainly waiting on or hearing on calls from Momai. Um, so again, short and sweet. On Bombs. Okay, so now we have uh, the used to be fast boy Got that is now a s kind of a slower boy. Um, his role, he's going to be th putting down his three ADSs. I won't be wasting one uh, in this corner here. I will Off put one in this corner here to protect the cam uh, from any nades or explosives from this outside window. <clears throat> barbed wire, I would help out Bandit and put one out at the top of the stairs. And honestly, yeah, you can just use that at the top and bottom of these stairs. And in case we lose any um, presence in construction, an ADS is going to be here at once more protecting this camera. Use utility to protect utility. For this last one, well, Maya's already going to have a lot with them, right? He's going to have reinforcements, reinforcement, uh, watching this wall, castle barricade, shield. He already has a lot of utility in here. So unless Jaeger himself wants to put another ADS down for him, um, he does not have to. But again, if you want to, it's it's there. Let's go for it. The last ADS, to be honest, I would either put in a hallway to once more protect uh, Bandit. Possibly behind here. 
pretty sure you can shoot through that and it'll be pretty obvious. But yeah. Might be better on the ground. I think it would be. This would be better on the ground. You can still shoot through it. So it kind of sucks. <clears throat> That's what I expect. Um, so last ADS, again, there's going to be a rotating bathroom. So I guess I would put it in bathroom then. Yeah, for the last one, I'll just put in this corner because this is going to be reinforced. It's going to be opened up. Uh, put it in this corner. So while we're on uh, Jaeger, the last op I'm reviewing, we're going to go ahead and go over reinforcements. So, well, my reinforcements is going to be in construction. My is going to be outside wall and bathroom wall. Bandits is going to be outside wall. So that's already one, two, one, two construction, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and then we can get this <clears throat> for castle, seven, eight. Is that really just eight? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you have two extra reinforcements. And you want to keep this all open and soft. So, I guess there's nowhere else to really put them. Other than just to hold on to them. And you're going to be opening up the hatch in a con not construction, in gym. Um, if you want to, you can open up in construction. And to be honest, do whatever you want with the last two reinforcements. Uh, but that pretty much wraps up today's video for the, this particular site, bedroom in the clubhouse. If you guys have any questions or comments, any other view of the uh, maps you want me to go over, uh, any particular site or anything in general, please leave a comment. Uh, I have had a few people leave me comments about saying they wanted to do Villa next. <clears throat> I am actually going to be making a video um, on how to make your own sites, like how to create your own strats for uh, defending sites, right? And that's going to be actually on Villa. So it's kind of a double uh, video episode, I guess you can say, on Villa. One video, again, is going to be explaining how to break down a site and what operators to bring in to choose. <clears throat> and I will of course do it step by step with you guys of how to do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. God, my was so scratchy. Um, and then I'll do an actual video of how to defend Villa and those three main sites. Alright, and that's all for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, the process of going through this and enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, again, like what I said just a few minutes ago or just a minute ago or so, um, I want to make a video breaking down how I do my own guides pretty much, how I break down a site, what operators to use, what rotation holes to do, uh, et etc. et cetera. Um, So I'm going to be doing that on Villa, and as well, the video after that is going to be on Villa, uh, the best three sites defending um, on that map. Um, <clears throat> That's pretty much all there is to say. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. There's like a huge percentage, there's like 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed and people keep watching them and coming back. Um, so again, please subscribe if you enjoy it, especially if you keep coming back and watching the videos. Um, share this with your friends, please. Uh, and I uh, hope everyone has a good day. Take care.